Hello everyone, it's Sue from Scrappy Doo Sue. I'm here today to do episode 17 of Dee Dee Farago's YouTube Pocket Challenge called Hashtag 2021TCTC. Um, and she did show us two different ways of doing these. So basically you want two pieces of paper. This is just scrapbook eight by eight pieces um, out of a pad. Um, and I've just literally cut them in half. Um, Dee Dee used a, a piece that was four inches wide by seven and a quarter inches long. So the first way she did it um, was without the scoreboard. So you literally take the one piece, lay it on the top, um, and you want about a, a quarter of an inch overlap. So we need to cut this piece down. So let's say, let me use my mat. Um, so if we say half an inch on either side, um, yeah, we'll say, so if we make it, um, let me see, five inches wide, I'm just gonna cut it five inches and I'm going to do it on, on the, trimmer because my cutting as we all know I think I could cut straight sometimes with these type of things and then <laughs> I try and then find out that it hasn't actually worked so this is the first version so this is the easier of the two you take this and you're just going to place it down at the bottom and you're going to turn it over and you're going to fold down each side like so. It doesn't have to be completely accurate, but just enough to wrap around. So you're wrapping it round like this. Um, I'm going to cut a bit off this actually it, to make it less than eight. So I'm going to cut an inch off because I'm just thinking that it will be very uh, difficult to fit into a journal um, on a journal page if it's too tall. So I'll just cut that piece off. Okay, and then we're going to wrap this piece around like this so you've got it edge to edge at the bottom like this and that pretty much is your library card so let me just ink around the edges so that you can actually see first of all what I've done I think actually it would look better with with the thumb hole in. Uh, Dee Dee said you didn't have to have a thumb hole in it, but um, I think it would probably look a bit better with a thumb hole in. Okay, so we are going to give that a burnish with our bone fold up, like so make sure it's even and then we're just going to glue those two flaps down um oh before we do that actually i will put a thumb hole in so we'll just take that piece um and um, i think i will just measure the middle um center of this page so it is literally still four so just there just to I do eyeball it sometimes and then I find out it's not really even so I'm not going to take that risk so I've got um um tea dye I think it's called today not very dark not as dark as the vintage photo that I like <clears throat> right so give it a tap so you know that your pieces are 
edge to edge at the bottom and then we're just going to glue down both flaps Now, Dee Dee sealed the bottom of it afterwards, but I think I'm going to run a thin bead of glue along there and do it all in one go. Like so. So, just want to get it edge to edge down the bottom like this. Fold those over. And I prefer this bone folder. I'm going to burnish those down, press along the bottom to seal it up like so. And that is our pocket. And if we use, we'll just use one of these large labels. So you've got a pocket there, and then however you want to put it on your page. You can have a top loading pocket or side tuck here or side tuck here and it just depends on how you glue it down um to just to make this look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing i'm going to round the top corners of mine like so and there you have your library card very nice very simple right so that's that one now the second one um Dee Dee used her scoreboard and she so i'm wondering whether to have my piece she had a four by eight and a half piece mine's four by eight so we're going to score at a quarter of an inch on either side so we're going to score down a quarter inch there and a quarter inch here and i'm just going to turn mine up the other way because my school board doesn't go down as far as now when i do that i can never line up the score line isn't it strange there we are and then yeah it just doesn't seem to want to line up there like so and you, then you turn it lengthways onto your scoreboard now she scored at five and a half to fold up our score is at five because we're i'm a bit smaller than her piece so i'm half an inch smaller scoring it at five and that's the fold up pocket and that's that's what you need to do with that right so put that school board back for a moment okay now we don't want the bulk so what Dee Dee did was she took the long piece so there's my score line for my pocket and she cut the these two side flaps off up to that crease there like so and again up to that crease and I'm going to cut down those like so and then she cut the corners off on this piece so that corner just to get rid of the bulk that corner corner and that corner like so okay just get rid of those bits and then we are going to turn the pocket up now the only thing with this is um i would have to decorate this and cover that up because my paper is not double-sided so i'm going to lose that piece just cut that off there. so then you just 
put your thumb hole in if you're going to have one and I think I will like so we'll eyeball this one see how it turns out um, like so have to give it a link round now obviously I have now got a white background at the top half and I'm just going to cut those corners like so ink those pieces slightly uneven So I would decorate this so now you can do one of two things now you've got your score lines here so you've got your outer flaps now you can either bend them in and glue that part face to face there or you can wrap them round now um, it's entirely up to you so we'll wrap them round so as we burnish them it's going to make it a lot easier for us to glue them down just burnish those get them as flat as possible and I seem to have a piece sticking out because I think I snipped I'm gonna have to snip that off right so now we're going to glue these down so we don't need to glue the bottom because this time we've just folded it up so it's made out of one piece as opposed to two pieces so i can see that i i just snipped up that um line just a bit too far on that we should be okay just give that a press down and again that side nice press down so that it glues down there needs a little bit more glue there Okay, so I'm just going to crown that piece, that edge there, like so. And there you have it. Now, if like me, you need to decorate your piece, you probably wouldn't want to stick this front flap up to make your pocket until after you've decorated it. But if I wanted to decorate it, and I'm not going to do that right this minute, I could just slot some paper, cut, cut it to size and slot it down the back of the pocket. So that would be okay. So that's a slightly different size one to the other one that we made. Okay, so that's how you make your library pockets like this. Okay, so now we're just going to make the um, paper clip so for this I've got another scrap piece of paper and um, again it does not have to be um, an exact length um, but um, DD used a piece that was 12 inches long and one and three quarter inches wide now mine's not that long and you don't need that length um, and I one and three quarter inches wide. So mine's two, two and seven eighths. So it's just under two and a half. Um, I'm just wondering whether I need to. I think what we do is we score it, as she said, and we'll see what we've got left over because she cut the excess off anyway. 
so let's score it and see how we get on so let's use that edge so she scored the first score three inches down here like so and then she scored again at three so my board only goes up to five and a half that side so i'm just going to move it along back to zero and score it again at three like that okay and then she then scored it at one and a half inches so we'll just do one and a half inches there from zero to one and a half so in total you've got seven and a half inches okay now she cut off the excess so we didn't need a 12 by 12 piece anyway we're just going to cut down there okay so let's put the scoreboard away like so and let's try and remember what we're doing now so you've got first score line at three inches second one at three inches the third one at um, an inch and a half so between the two three inches that score line there you want to take your craft knife and you want to make a slit so if I just burnish that and um, not burnish it I just ink it quickly you'll be able to see and I think this paper is actually cracking even though it's very fine I'm going to make a small slit in the centre, roughly in the centre of this piece, like that, okay? And then I should have got one out ready, but I haven't. I will get a paper clip. Of, I have to use a yellow lot. If I use a large one, oh no, we can use this one. Is that going to be a bit too large? So I've either got very small or very big. Um, I'm just wondering. Let's just use a white one that size. Okay. Right, so you're going to slide your paper clip down that slot like so. Can you see that? There's the slot and you're just going to clip it over there. So it's clipped that side and then clipped underneath. And you're going to turn it over where you've clipped it. Now, it doesn't matter if you have the long side inside or out, but actually I quite like the long side on the outside because I think it gives you a bit more scope when you're clipping it over the edge of your journal the only thing problem being that it's a bit trickier to get it slotted into here but that's my long edge there so I am now going to glue down this whole piece so I'm going to this three inch section here where the paper clip is I am going to give that a liberal amount of glue and I'm going to glue all around there like so I'll just pin this glue and then we're going to bring make sure that the paper clip is straight and it's not just do your best, that's it, just straighten it, fold that down like so and we'll just give that a press down like so and then this comes up here, fold that, so let's give that an ink so you can actually see what I'm doing.
not sure how robust this piece of paper is actually going to be, but it's only really for demonstration purposes today. Uh, now I'm just going to put a little thumb hole in this bit here. Again, I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, I think that's okay. Get that link round. Okay, and then we're going to glue down both sides of this little pocket. So tiny thin bead of glue either side like so press it up give it a press down and there you have your paper clip so this is my journal page i would clip it over the top of the page like so and i have got um let me find a little label so i've got a little pocket there and i could put something nice in it like that two or three things and you can decorate this up according to the journal that it's going into or the piece that you've made to put it in and there you have it so it's very very simple now it's actually the principle is very similar to these library cards and Dee Dee also made a paper clip but by scoring the edges cutting the piece out like we did earlier um, so we could make one more let's just try one more and see how we get on so we'll make a paper clip let's make a paper clip let's pin the glue um shut the ink and let's make a paper clip out of this so i'm just going to get my guillotine and I'm just going to trim this down and let's see. Now, we don't want it too wide, so let's do a two-inch piece. Do you know, I can't measure on this guillotine to save my life. So I want two inches, so let's say around about there and be fine. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, so we're going to... going to score it at three inches and we're going to score it at three inches again now if you've got a big scoreboard you can just keep going along but I haven't <laughs> so I think let me see now how that's quite a deep pocket we don't want it that deep so we're going to score it out uh, one and a half right so okay oh I'm all fingers and thumbs today so I hope you're having a good day um this is Saturday evening I thought I'd come come back up and do a few more try and do a few more episodes of Dee Dee's challenge um because i'm only on episode 17 and i do i would like to continue with it i do find this very um great to do um to learn how to make all these pockets and you know i don't I, i'm not familiar with all of them so again i've got my craft knife and i'm just going to do a small slit about the width of your paper clip really is all you need just a little slit like that not too wide like so okay be very careful with these knives they are deadly okay so um yeah that's how we want it want it so it's going to look like this now that is not laying quite how i wanted it to so I'm just going to burnish that end like so I may have to push that pocket down slightly because it doesn't want to lay flat right 
Okay, so there's our slit. So we want another paper clip. And we'll just keep with the white theme, I think. The red one wants to come out, but he's not going to. He's going away. Okay, so we are going to push the paper clip through the paper. And I am going to do it. So you want to turn it over so that whichever piece you have on the outside, the back, um, you can actually see. So there it is. Difficult to see in this light. Right, there it is. That's the outside. And this is the inside. So we are going to just glue this down. And give it a generous amount of glue. Covering the paper clip. Every time I do that, I move the paper clip. And then I have to try and wiggle it back into position. Pin this monkey glue. Right. Let's just turn it over and just gently move it till you're happy with it. This is lined, this paper, so in theory it's okay. A good way of lining it up against a line. Just make sure that you've got these edge to edge. Give those edges a burnish down. And then we are going to make a little thumb hole in our pocket, which you don't have to do. It's up to you. And um, this is nearly the width of this circle punch. So it's not too difficult to actually eyeball that one. Give this an ink round. Now, um, this tea dye is, is not dark enough for me, really. Um, I quite like it dark to see what I'm doing. So you can just see the paper clip peeking out there. Okay. There's a little pocket and we're going to glue down a thin bead of glue. I'm just going to wipe the edge of that. A thin bead of glue down either side of this flap like so like that if I don't pin the glue every time it will decide it's not playing ball with me start becoming gloopy so that's nicely lined up because I've got those lines you see so I can tell that it is lined up and there we have our paper clip. So once again, this is our journal page. It clips over the top and you can decorate it up however you want. So let's decorate this one up. Um, and let's, let's quickly do a bit of decorating on this if we've got time. I just don't want to make this a very hugely long um, video. Um, that away put that away okay so what have we got um well this is tiny so i think i'd quite like let's do this first a little label on here that should be quite nice um that's quite nice actually i like that one um Put a little tiny bit of tea bag, I think, out of my tea bag jar. And layer that up with that, like so. Just a little bit of subtlety there. And what can we have? 
up the top. What about maybe um, I've got everything out again, you know. It's me saying I'm trying to tidy up as I go along, but somehow there's a nice bunch of flowers there. That would be quite nice. Well, that, I think that's quite pretty. Let's go with that. Um, yeah, let's go with that. And um, did I have any really tiny butterflies anywhere? Um, I do have some really tiny ones. These are those. But they are very hard to see perhaps I'll link that one up and we'll put that on um, there's one here that's a sort of a, a greeny yellow that might be better let's put that there um, and I'm just going to collage behind this flower with just a tiny bit of um, collage paper so I think we'll use uh, oh, I quite like that against there. Oh, this is nice. This music, right? We'll collage a piece of this. So I'm just going to tear just that rough, roughen up that edge a bit like so and just down there a tiny bit and then maybe we'll just put that there oh, do i want it that wide or do i just want a hint of it on which piece so if I put it there I'm just going to tear that down there and just put that there like so and maybe just one more, more piece a piece of this straw paper um, becomes very fiddly this does okay I think that's that's going to look okay so right, let's get these stuck down before I do that I just need to ink round these pieces actually this piece just needs a tiny bit cutting off it And up that side just to neaten that edge up. If I cut too much off, I could end up with nothing. I think that's fine. Those new scissors are great for fussy cutting and that's what I'm sort of keeping them for really. So let's... Um, These are absolutely tiny. I wonder if that shows up. Yeah, that shows up a bit better like that. Perhaps we'll have both of them. Who knows? Let's be daring and have two. So once you've inked them up, it does give them a bit of definition, right? Okay, well, they're very fiddly. I'm going to struggle with actually gluing those down. I hope everyone's doing okay and I've had a good Saturday. In the end, I didn't go out at all today. 
haven't picked up my parcel just didn't feel like it it's just raining here it's quite miserable um i don't know i just feel so tired it's awful i'm just going to put that there like so and then put this down hoping i'll feel a bit better soon I think sometimes the better weather makes you feel much better in yourself. So let's hope we have a few sunny days. So we're going to put this down next. Now, the fact that I'm having to shake this bottle, I think, means this is finally coming to an end, this glue. I think that was up that way. I'm just going to put that there and I'm just wondering now whether to which way are we having that are we having it this way around yeah let's have it that way we'll take a piece off ink that edge glue this down Like so. Oh, I have to ink round this. This is grey. So this is a Tim Holtz um, snippet. It's out of his snippets. Um, I think they might be called field snippets or something like that. Oh dear. Oh. Do you know I cannot remember this moment in time um what they were called now so i'm just going to put that there and that is actually bending over that paper clip like so and then we'll just put a a dot of glue there and a dot of glue there and we are going to these down like that and like that and there we have that little one that little paper clip which is quite sweet so now we could always there was the piece I had that I put in there Oh no, it was in the other one. So, um, we could put anything we liked in, in it really. We have a nice little piece of ephemera like this. Just about fits in, that does. Um, and we could have a little postcard in there, like so. So that's one, and I'll, let's just decorate this up very quickly. Um, I quite like to put a bit of lace along the bottom, that'd be quite nice. So let's do that. This is definitely coming to an end, but I've got two more because I think when I bought them, it was a pack of three. So whether I like like the glue or not, I'll, I shall be continuing to use it. <laughs> Waste not, want not. But I do actually like this glue, believe it or not. I'm probably one of the very few crafters that I've come across that actually do like it. So we'll just lay that down like so. Okay, um, I think that might need a tiny bit more. Oh gosh, that came out in a great big blob. Now I'm going to have to use my 
finger to spread that out like so and we'll just cut that off and trim that side like so now that piece is not laying flat either I bought this crochet trim lace whatever it's called on um, I think it's Amazon actually and when it came it was all it's all completely um, creased up and most of it there's about four different varieties in the pack and it just came in a one great bundle all kind of tied up not properly packaged or anything and it wasn't second hand or anything I was quite surprised so that's that now we're going to put something nice up here so now we've got we've got this but I think I don't know that doesn't seem to fit um, we've got these flowers they're pretty I'm just wondering if they're going to get lost uh, let's see what can we put with them so got that And we've got that and oh that's a nice that's a nice green leaf now I'm wondering if that flower if this flower is too big have another one out try to be prepared today so that's quite nice isn't it I like that okay let's put that down the bottom okay so goodness me I'm gonna have to quickly ink round these just to give them a just a touch of ink I'm not going to be too fussy but I do like to cover that white edge up the side like so and likewise with that one this one's very pretty this is a lady um it's on ebay it's not uh, the lady i get most of my die cuts from it's a different shop They're very pretty have a bit more character I think but I do like the other ones as well so let's see let's put this one down first like so <sighs> yeah so we've had a lot of rain today it's been quite miserable I think my husband was tired. He's had a busy week at work. Um, and uh, I don't know. You seem to you think you sleep well. And um, in fact, I, I know I did. I'm pretty sure I went off quite quickly. And I wasn't aware that I woke up in the night at all. But then I wake up and I'm not feeling at all refreshed so we've had that one there and we have that there and we had that there and this one here so okay let's put this one down so um yeah we've really just had a very long weekend for easter so we shouldn't be feeling too tired really all right so i just think it's the time of year you know i know my grandsons definitely needed a break so they're you know having this long easter holiday is really 
going to do them good. Although Arthur probably won't want to go back. I don't think Harry will want to go back either. They're both Harry's just turned nine and Arthur will be nine in June. And um I think the trouble is with with all the lockdown and everything, they've got used to being at home and being homeschooled and Whilst going back to school was a bit of a novelty to see all their friends. You know, my daughters are very good at, at, um, at letting their boys keep in touch with with the people, you know, from school. Um, and so I think they've been having a few plays via Zoom while they've been off. So let's see what we've got. We've got a nice blue label that we could put on here let's just have a quick look and see um, what we have got in here so we've got this up here that would be quite nice um we'll put, leave that there for a second um well we have got that but i think that's too white Got to play them once, but they seem to blend into the background whenever I try to use one. Um, and there's one, but it has to be up that way. Um, no, um, I haven't got one that's kind of black ish. I wanted something to go down the bottom, so I quite like the word. Now that phrase says time for new things. I quite like that, actually. And then we could use one of these. So I, I really like that one. I think I'm going to go with that one, you know. And we're just going to ink round this first. And I've got a bit of old book page here if I can get it out. I just want to dull that down a bit on there. Like that. I think I'm going to actually put that there. Because I do like it. Like so. Oh, that's nice. And then up here, I think I want that to that side, like so. I'm keeping the blue border on it because I, I do like that. So let's just get rid of those white edges. And I don't think I'm going to have anything behind it. I'm going to put it down like that. I don't want this to be too bulky because it's going to have things in it that could equally be decorated. So let's put that up there. Like that. Now I could that little blue stamp there if I wanted to no don't think it needs it um dare I say I'm going to just look for a quick small butterfly see if I have one in this pot I do have one there I don't know if he's the right color 
actually quite nice and he's not as small as I was thinking and he's obviously got himself into the wrong pot so there's that one there which we could have up but it looks like it's in the distance and the flowers are in the foreground so they've got this one which is a sticker Mm, maybe I have got a lot more actually I just haven't got them out uh, there's a limit to how much I want to have out in a pot to be honest because I'm forever rifling through it and um, now we've got this one yeah there's a blue one bluey green he is that we have him there like that and just leave that do I want to leave it or do I want to if I could find another one that was a similar color to him that would be fantastic now they're out of the um the Tim Holtz snippets as well so I have got a packet of them and I will just put those two back and get my box out quickly don't want to be off camera and let's see and here they are okay right let's just see so they're actually called the field note snippets i think i mentioned before <coughs> excuse me that i do have two packets of identical snippets my husband bought a pack of he said they were in a pack of two i mean i didn't know they were sold like that actually oh, they're so fiddly they're going to fall out let's just tip them out shall we tip them out because we'd be fiddling about all day long otherwise um right all i want is a butterfly just one butterfly that matches that color really or is very similar oh goodness i don't really want to tip out the other packet ah what about that one what do you think now that's nice he's very handsome isn't he oh here we are here's one okay i like him my decision made i'm just going to brush these into this box lid because then i'll put them away off camera you know you get loads in them but some of them absolutely minute i mean I practically need a magnifying glass so quickly just take the edge of that and I don't think I've done this right so putting him down I do love these butterflies I bought a lovely digital sheet of butterflies for fussy cutting from Angela Kerr's Etsy shop. Angela has a channel on YouTube. She does the most amazing, beautiful, elegant things. Um, and she has put together a sheet of um butterflies to be fussy cut whenever you want them and I'm going to print that sheet off and start cutting some out so there we have that right let's get rid of all of this so to recap we have two library cards and we have um a nice pocket in here on both of them and you can have a top loading pocket here or a side tuck on either side here or here so depends on on the page that you put them on so if this 
if this was my journal page then you know I would could glue it down and leave the top open and have a top loader or if this was um, the edge of my page I could have it to the center of the um, signature and have a side tuck there so that's those and then we've also got two lovely little paper clips and they fit on the top of your journal page like that so one I've decorated and one I haven't decorated today but they've got some ephemera in them and there you have them so there they are okay right thank you very much everyone